Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program, where last time we made a new forge world. Inside our new solar system, Beta Geminorum, i.e. the Beta System, and we have started some extreme automation. Hundreds, if not thousands of drones carrying things everywhere, making thousands and thousands and thousands of pretty much every item in the game, which are all being brought back to Kappa Delphini 4, our universe's logistics hub. And now with everything, we have automated all of the key logistics items that we need to take over every solar system in the galaxy. Except we have one small but familiar problem, and that's that we need more oil. As per usual. So, we have to turn this beautiful green field planet into an oil rig. Because unfortunately for it, it has over twice the amount of crude oil in our home world. And also, of course, we need a ton of oil products to get our factory world fully utilized. So that's gonna be the plan today. So if you guys enjoy, remember to leave a like and let's get started. But super quick before that, we need to finish off our project from last time, and that is putting pants on this world here. We managed to cover the top half, gotta do the bottom half. So now that we have enough concrete, let's get faxing. Good, and now with one planet done, it's time for the next. However, you guys in the comments below actually managed to save this world. You see, one of you guys commented, why don't I just bring the oil to the factory world? Why have this world be processing stuff if you have another world dedicated to it? And I gotta admit, pretty sound logic. So luckily, this world will survive in a way. We'll scar it, you better believe it, but we won't pave the whole thing over. Instead, the plan's gonna be to package all the oil, all of the resources, and everything we can get our hands on here, and send it to the Forge World, wherever that is right now. So I'll rip up this temporary little solution I made here, and we'll set up planetary logistics towers. So whenever we see a couple of resources together, we'll just plop down one of these bad boys, boop, mine up all of the resources, and then send it on its merry way. So now that we have the logistics towers and the drones automated, brother, we just collect everything with these and we're good to go. So these will be the supply towers and near the top of our world here, we're going to have export towers. So all the items will come over here and be sent to the other world. We're gonna have to have a lot of these and they're only gonna work in this solar system. So we have to be a little careful there. There we go, drones are in and let's even throw in some planetary ones as well. Fantastic. So now we just have to make little setups like this dotted around the entire planet for all of the resources here. And then we can ship it over for processing. Ah, so don't be sad, planet. Sure, you have bugs flying around all over the place and a couple little towers here and there, but overall, it's a lot better than being completely paved, right? Right. So yeah, all the resources are all hooked up. I put in wind turbines wherever I literally could for some extra power because <laughs> these guys now use a lot of power. And now the last thing to do here is to tear out our old oil system for sulfuric acid. And fun fact, last time we got mods, right? So we can build stuff super fast, but we can also delete stuff super fast. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah, inventory is full. I don't care, delete it all. To the shadow realm with ye. Our Forge world shall handle everything for us. No need to fret. You know, I don't understand how this mod though is able to like pick out certain things. You'd think you'd just delete like every single like tower in the entire like world, but it doesn't seem to work like that. Anyway, all that goes bye bye. And we'll hook up all the oil and I guess the water and stuff to a logistics tower. And then this planet is done. And all the resources are gathered on the planet's crown. 
very, very nice. Now we might still have a problem here because there's gonna be a throughput of not having enough logistics vessels to carry stuff from planet to planet. So we might have to double up the amount of towers we have here. But at least for now, this will kind of get us started. Awesome, indeed. So back to the Forge world to automate all the oil products and finally complete this planet. So we got a lot to do here. Lots and lots and lots to do. Oil products, super important, obviously. And we are going to need to make more graphene. We're already making a bit with fire ice, but we always need more. Uh, we're gonna need to make some plastic. I want a source of organic crystals from the oil as well because they're super important and we only have one vein of the organic crystals on the other planet. So yeah, getting those two. Then the carbon nanotubes, of course. We need deuterium because I'd love, love, love to get some deuterium fuel rods automated so we can make a fusion power plant, power our suit, etc. And of course we need sulfuric acid out the huazu because the titanium alloy takes a lot and we need a lot of titanium alloy. So lots and lots and lots and lots to do. Oh yeah, big meme here. This Casimir crystal needs 12 hydrogen per crystal and graphene. So it's like, ugh, gonna need so much oil. So yeah, gotta get started here. And we're gonna be building pretty much a perfect oil setup. We know kind of how the systems work nowadays since we've already built a pretty big oil setup before. And now that we have all the space in an organized world, we'll be able to perfect things. So I guess we will start over here, just building our towers. And we'll start with step one, a very good place to start. And that will be with basic oil processing. So we're going to start with this first recipe here, plasma refining. It just makes the crude oil into fuel and hydrogen. And then after this processing, any of the quote unquote residue that ends up at the end are not able to go into other systems, will go into x-ray cracking. So that pretty much just takes like both of these products from here and turns it into more hydrogen and some graphite. But first oil goes in, hydrogen comes out, then some of the oil and with that set up, we just use our handy dandy mods to build the entire system. Easy peasy, just have to do it a million times. Literally. Well, at least like a hundred times here. <laughs> Again, the other world has a lot of oil, so we got a lot of processing to do, brother. In fact, this might not even be enough refineries, but it's like, I don't know, about 80. So it's a good start at least. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next part. So again with oil, it is infinite. So we are going to get infinite oil from the other world. Plus things are inevitably gonna back up and we need a plan for that. So what I have here at the end are a couple of the splitters and then two lines going forward. These two lines going forward will go into a logistics tower just get rid of those for now, and send the oil products to wherever they need to be. However, the excess stuff that doesn't go into the tower needs to go to that second phase I was talking about. So that will be the primary exit, there we go. Then we'll have the secondary stuff, the overflow, go over here and somewhere over this way, somewhere over the rainbow. And we'll organize our belts this way for all of the different setups. And then build 10,000 more refineries, oh boy. And man, oh man, guys, I have made a masterpiece, a glorious masterpiece of belt work. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I've managed to get all of the main products to these three logistics towers. There's a mine in the way there, but this will work. So most of the oil and hydrogen will go into these. And then again, the overflow goes through this beautiful system here on top and over in this direction. Admittedly, there is some spaghetti, but guess what? You can always hide spaghetti underneath the higher belts. So you guys never see that. And you just see the beautiful straight lines. You see, it's like throwing the dirty clothes in your closet. It's not a mess if you can't see it. <laughs> anyway, next phase here. So we have all of the excess hydrogen and the excess oil. What do we do with it? We are going to x-ray crack it. So turn it into graphene or graphite and more hydrogen. Cool beans, you better believe it. And it's pretty much the exact same setup as before, except kind of opposite, taking in both the fuel and the hydrogen, then pooping it out. Wait a second, no, this is not the same. It's two to two. I guess we'll have to have belts on this side, one there, one there. I guess we could have the hydrogen that's going into the system come out on the same line, but nah, it'll clog up. Yeah, that's the thing. When you have infinite of something, 
you're gonna have everything be clogging up your entire system. So we have to avoid that at all costs. So I guess that's fine. Ah, I guess that's, yeah, that ha that's how it's gonna have to be. We'll have a mirrored system on the other side too here. We'll just have to do the belt work a little bit differently. And we'll just keep stacking this design forever. It's a kind of a shame though. I wanted like this entire side of the planet to kind of have the same belt work as up here. I thought I would, but it's not going to be the same. Eh, at least it'll be refineries. What are you gonna do? Except for boop. It. You just gotta love booping sometimes. Man, this gets repetitive. Anyway, we're starting a test. We're right in the middle of the test. We're seeing if the whole thing works. So the oil is getting delivered here. It's being processed. These towers have filled up already on some hydrogen. And I got some sulfuric acid going really quickly and temporarily. So let's see. We have way, 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 way too much hydrogen. The fuel is being used a lot more than it. So that's a bit of a problem. A lot of our systems aren't working. That's again a lack of fuel. So we're gonna have to make another overflow after this to deal with the hydrogen. I had to do things a little wonkily because I made more x-ray cracking systems than fuel processing systems over here, which in hindsight's probably a mistake, but it's built now. And I guess we could build more of the initial cracking stuff over here. Have it flow over in the other direction. I don't know. It's not a problem right now. Ah, but yeah, looking pretty good. At least with these, I had to belt over the mine, but it's iron and I can't bury that. It's too important. End of the day here, all of the extra products and excess products will end up in a logistics station. So we have more graphite, hydrogen, refined oil, again, so it can fly out of the system potentially. And then behind here, we have the next overflow. Because man, this could overflow too. Everything can overflow. And eventually, everything will have to burn. But first, Everything goes and combines onto these simple lines, and we need to process, well, specifically that hydrogen. We're already backing up on it a lot, and we don't have a huge use for it just yet, except to make deuterium. Oh yes, our favorite deuterium. And we make those in the fractionators. These guys are cheap, they work, so we're gonna put down a ton of them. And I got another really good tip in the comments of the last video, or whatever video it was when we did our big setup with these. But the idea is to have these systems and loops be as small as possible to be more efficient. So more hydrogen is running through the machines. It would seem it would increase the odds of it becoming deuterium somehow, or something like that. Anyway, uh, the systems are all kind of the same. Just a small little loop where you introduce more hydrogen when it gets turned into deuterium. So all the hydrogen will enter through here. This will have a priority input from the existing system. So we'll keep on using this stuff. And then when it runs out of the stuff in the system, it'll bring new stuff in. That way it doesn't clog up and the machine keeps on spinning. If items stop moving through the loop, then nothing keeps grooving and we don't get our deuterium. And I cry. Anyway though, we'll probably make like three maybe eight systems back to back, like a system here, a system here, and then another system here and another there, and something like that, and just cover this huge space in the fractionators. We have them automated back in the home system, so we have infinite, and we have just way too much hydrogen. So you know what? Better find a use for it instead of just burning it all the time. Okay, and that plan seems to have worked out here. We've got like a hundred fractionators right now. And I built a really interesting system. So the hydrogen comes in, right? Half of it gets split up right at the beginning, gets put into the first loop. The other half goes over top of the first loop, goes into this nice, beautiful knot, and enters another loop. However, all of the deuterium that's made by both systems goes down the middle. Do, 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 <laughs> and ends up on the other side. We'll have a bunch of storage tanks and of course, a logistics tower to scoot it where it needs to go. Very nice. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see if the belt work works. It's a bit of a mess, but it looks cool. So there's that. And before I didn't set these splitters correctly though. Nice job, me. Oh, that one doesn't need to be set. This one needs to be set. And it is, this one is, that one is. All right, looking good so far. <laughs> Let's see if things are going through the knot here. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, the priority input actually needs to be from here. That's just from the system. That should work out well. Yeah, things are spinning. <laughs> so much spinning. And look at all that deuterium! Oh my gosh, we gotta start storing that. Oh yeah, bud. Where's the storage container? Please, quickly. It's actually gonna be so important. We really need a lot of deuterium now, just for power. 
Not to mention all of the other crazy things we need it for as well in making our Dyson Sphere. So, built, go in there for now. Hopefully this buys us a little bit of time. Ah, but then, of course, there's the other materials. All the freaking graphite, all of the refined oil. It gotta go too. And we can't do no fancy schmancy deuterium production with that. So, off to this planet's dumpster fire. 200 burners ready to get rid of all that stuff. Yes, at the end of the day, it all burns. Or does it? Seems we have a bit of an issue. Ignore the flashing, that's just because of the uh, copy and paste mod. Something weird's going on there, but everything should work. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We have a good problem. Everything is full because we're not using enough power. But why? The batteries, they're too good. We have almost 420 megawatts of generator capacity here though. Mm. <laughs> good meme. Okay, but this number jumps up a lot. Maybe the generators go down? What is going on here? I do not know what's going on with the power graph, but I guess we just leave it for now. Sometimes they turn on, sometimes things work. I guess we don't really have a, another option though. However, we do with the deuterium stuff, or hydrogen really, and I guess we could do this with the refined fuel too, but the easiest way to kind of clear out backlogged items is to make these giant pillars of storage tanks, uh, specifically for liquids, and just delete and replace them. The tanks hold a lot of material, and when you delete them, you don't get the material in your inventory. So that's cool. What is going on here? Oh, oh, that's not cool. <laughs> this is already full. I took five minutes to figure the rest of this out and do some belt work and this is already full. A lot of you guys in the comments are like, oh my gosh, Gibbs, you need so much deuterium. And here I am like, what do I do? More emergency storage tanks it is, I guess. We'll add this buffer under the tower here. So we'll bring this out. That'll go into there. And then what we can do is have a lower tier belt go that way. Yeah, that way more of it gets stored here and leaves the system. I didn't build it evenly. There we go. And you know what? That's actually a really, really good idea. We could do that with all, like all items. We can essentially increase the storage capacity of every different tower. Because if we just had the big boxes back here, we just do the exact same thing. We have the slow belt or the fast belt go this way, load stuff up. Then we have the slower belt, put stuff back in. Yeah, what a good idea. We will most certainly use that in the future. But we have way too much to do right now and we gotta get started on it. We have every oil product in the game to automate. We are done with the production and processing. So we need the graphene, the plastic, the organic crystals, the deuterium primarily. I don't think we're gonna actually make hydrogen fuel rods though. I don't think we need them for anything, right? Nope, they're just like an early fuel. And we need a bunch of these crystals, mainly as a way to get rid of uh, hydrogen. And then yeah, quite a few other things. I suppose we will work our way through the list. Like I showed earlier though, I got started on the sulfuric acid, but I want more, more sulfuric acid. But I need more chemical plants. All right, but probably 120 of these will do, yeah. That should be good, at least as we get started. And yeah, it might seem like we're going a little excessive with some of this oil stuff, but the main thing is to have way too many machines so we always are using up all of our oil. That is kind of priority number one, because for the millionth time, if anything backs up, the whole system collapses very, very quickly. Oh, but wait, the most important thing in the whole game, guys, whole game, the deuterium fuel rods. So we got a tower together, all the stuff, we have our little assembler and this little beauty make all of the power we ever need in the universe. Well, it and its friends, of course. Yeah, this will be good. Because whenever we go to new solar systems, probably after we're done this one, we'll just bring in a bunch of deuterium and set up fusion power plants instead of like wind turbines and solar panels and that kind of stuff. Just deuterium, such a good fuel source. Love it both for us and for planets. But now with this system running, we're gonna need so much of it, it's gonna be crazy. Hopefully it's running a bit faster once I figure out what the heck is going on with the super magnets. But for now, definitely wanna have like a super storage buffer right in there. Good, so when the tower inevitably fills up, uh, this will fill up as well. So everything will enter this bin first and then go out this way. Once it can't go out this way, then this huge bin fills up and we are happy campers. 
yeah, we should really do that with like literally everything, but <laughs> maybe I'll add that in later. But back to our chemical plant business. Now we have a ton of sulfuric acid. Oh, let's go ahead and automate plastic. Yeah, that gets rid of all the excess uh, refined oil and graphite. Good, good, good. And it's only two items. Easy game, easy life. So stuff just enters from these belts here. So we'll get rid of that belt there. We'll set this to refined oil and that. Demand it, of course. Filter these to those things. Then have these machines play a game of tug of war with all the items uh, that's not working what is going wrong here something's going wrong I think this has to be moved yeah because I want to have them on both sides no wait nope got it just a little complicated there we go inputs and the output line and I suppose we'll build, I don't know, three rows of this. So we'll have huge row there. Da, da, da. Yeah. Then we'll figure out a use for the plastic after. Yeah, no. We actually went a little bit more extreme with this. We made a ton of plastic machines. Turns out producing plastic is actually kind of slow. It takes three seconds to make one plastic. What's up with that? So more machines necessary. Now we have a billion of them going to the tower. We're using the plastic in something. What's plastic used for? Oh, a particle broadband. Okay, so we're using it for that, probably. Anyway, that's another thing off the list. Next thing is we need graphene. So we do have fire ice, and we are making it into graphene. However, the fire ice will run out. The oil will not, and we always need graphene. It's used for like extremely important things. Thus, we're gonna be using some of our oil products to make it. And since it only takes two items, the acid and the graphite, we pretty much copy this system we did here for the other stuff. And now we'll have 10 million graphene. Very nice. So next up, carbon nanotubes, graphene, and titanium. Only two items again. Meaning we just copy this system again. Meaning we boop again. However, I want a little easy on the nanotube production here because I'm not sure if we have enough graphene to support it. So we just have four rows, which is like, I don't know, 30 machines, something like that. But it works, got it stored, and I put a little buffer on the back too, just in case. So what's up next then? Got the tubes. Oh yes, organic crystals. So again, we can mine this as well, but in the same vein as <laughs> the fire ice, eventually the organic crystals we're mining will also run out and we'll want a little supply of them. Plus, same system. And now we have the crystals. We'll back up on them too. Oh man, and that is pretty much all of our oil production done. That was like 500 chemical plants. That is a good chunk of the planet. Like all in, like look at this. These are chemical plants. And then this is the oil processing. And the funniest thing of all is I don't think this is enough. We're gonna need more. Specifically, yeah, looking back at things, we probably need more of the initial refining because our oil is backing up and that's a problem. Because if the first stage in our process isn't working well, well then every stage in the process doesn't work well. Or perhaps it's because we still have too much hydrogen. We can't use the deuterium fast enough. We can't burn the freaking hydrogen fast enough. We just have so much. Thus, we only have one possible solution now. The pretty pink crystals, the Casimir crystals, which use 12 hydrogen per each crystal. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. So this will absolutely 100% eat up all the hydrogen in this world. And we don't even need to make that big of a production line to do it. In fact, we probably only need like one logistics station. Oh my gosh. And one like double-sided production line here. So we'll have these guys going down this way. We'll have the hydrogen in the middle and then the graphene over here. And when I say like double-sided production line. I mean something like we have with the deuterium right there, except we have it here first, and then we flip it and have it that way as well. So it's like, again, double-sided. Obviously, we have to switch up the recipe, gotta add in the power, yada yada, but this is kind of like the gist of it. And then all this will go into its own little tower. Oh yeah, there's just a small problem of how much hydrogen we're using. So I got a pretty obvious solution. Uh, from here, the hydrogen comes out of the tower, goes over top this middle line, and then after about halfway through all the machines, it dips back in and goes to the other half. The other material materials aren't used as much at all, so those materials just flow through, straight through like the 50 machines or whatever, and end up over here. The crystals then go into the tower, we have a storage box of course, and 50 million crystals is a get! Easy! 
And you better believe, A, the drones are going absolutely freaking crazy. But more importantly, we are done worrying about hydrogen. The backup lines are empty. And now we just have to worry about making more of these. <gasps> oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gigawatts? Have I had this off the whole time? Oh. You see, that, that might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we're like 400, no, we're about maybe 200 megawatts short, so our power isn't keeping up. But we do have all this deuterium now, eh, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue to fix. But I think we'll have to go and fix that next time, because making these thousands of machines today took a while. But still, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye